this is SQL Server Management Studio and uh, we are in the query analyzer this is the master I'm going to create a database by using the master database and this the database which I'm going to create is a test DB and then I will use this test DB and I will create the certificate into this database and uh, this is the syntax to create the certificate I have to specify the certificate name and uh, the if I want to uh, protect the private key by password then I have to provide the, this password some strong password if I will not use this password I will, then the, it will automatically be encrypted by the database master key so here I have to write the subject and the start date and the expiry date are the optional so this certificate is created and if I will specify the expiry date is the um, some previous date then the current date then the certificate will not be created now if I will uh, use this catalog view sister certificate I can find my this user cert in this catalog view so this is the name of my certificate certificate ID and protected by this password encryption by the password this is the certificate information in this catalog view and the uh, the uh, advantage of this certificate is that we can take the backup of the certificate into some uh, external uh, source and we can restore this backup uh, to, uh, at some later location at some uh, later point when suppose we have the our database is corrupted or we want to restore the same certificate into another database then we can use these backups but the in the case of the asymmetric and asymmetric this option is not available so this is the benefit of the certificate that we can take the backup of the certificate like this I can this uh, use this syntax backup certificate user to this file to this location and this is the uh, backup name so I will use this syntax and this backup is completed successfully and this when I'm going to take the backup this it will take the backup of only for the public key not the private key public key is used for encryption and private key is used for decryption so if I will not specify uh, the, uh, and, uh, the private key uh, then it will uh, use the backup only for the public key if I want to take the backup for the private key then I have to mention in this uh, during the backup with private key uh, this uh, syntax I have to use then it will take the backup of the private key also and the private key encryption by password this is the uh, pa uh, password for the private key and this is the decryption by password is that to, this is the password for this backup file if I want to restore this backup file I have to use uh, use this password uh, for this backup file so I can use this syntax or I can use this syntax to take the backup only for the uh, public key so now I'm, I'm going to create a table in this uh, test database and then I will uh, this table is the login table this table has the user names and their passwords and I will encrypt the password by using the certificates so now this table I created I will insert some data these four employees are inserted into this table if I will check now what is in this table I can find the employees data in this table these are the four employees and there's the password does not exist so I, I will use the same uh, username as a password but I will in first encrypt the username then I will update this column by this uh, this encrypted data which is the username so for that I will use the certificate to encrypt the, uh, the, this uh, data to encrypt this column I can use this in, uh, syntax encrypt by cert, cert and then I have to provide the my certificate name my certificate name which I created above I use the name is user cert this is the certificate name I created a certificate in this database by using this name so I will use this certificate to encrypt the data 
So this is a syntax encrypt by certificate and the uh, data will be encrypted by the cert ID and I will have to provide the name here of the certificate and here I have to provide which column I want to encrypt. So I will encrypt this username and then the after encryption I will use this as a password. So if this is a uh, simple way to encrypt and uh, you, you see this is the after encryption it will look like this one. So I will update that table column, password column with this encrypted data. So if I will query this table, now I have the um, username, employee name and then the login password. So this login password is actually the username but I use the certificate to encrypt uh, this username and used as a password. So now if I want to decrypt, for the decryption, if I will use the same syntax like um, decrypt, by, uh, de decrypt by certificate and then I have to give the certificate, I user certificate and which column I have to decrypt, this login underscore password. If I will use this syntax, so what will be happen? It will not decrypt, it will give the null, null, null because decryption is always by the private key. We cannot decrypt the data by using the public key. If we are not specifying the password, because the this certificate uh, certificate pass, uh, private key is protected by the this password. So we have to use this password to in decrypt the data. If I am not using this password, then we I cannot decrypt the data. So this I use I have to use this for the decryption. I have to use the private key. Private key is uh, used for the decryption only. So now for the uh, syntax is this one, decrypt by certificate, I have to use my certificate name, then which column I have to decrypt, L this column login underscore password and I have to provide the this private key. This private key, I, when I will provide, then this it will decrypt the column data. So let's see. So after decryption, it will it is giving me the same username because this actually the these are encrypted data is the username. So in this way we can encrypt the data and decrypt the data by using the uh, certificate. Certificate contains the public key and the private keys, and uh, we can uh, encrypt the data by using the public key. Anyone can use this key because we are not we are uh, not providing any p password and the but to decrypt we need the private key